another Supreme Court case for you. Uh, this this uh, guy Shirtleff is, uh, you know, a, a right winger. This is Shirtleff, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, Shirtleff v. Massachusetts, I think, is the is the case. And this was uh, this came down on Monday. In Boston, they have been flying the flags of other nations. They do this on request. So, you know, Latvia will say, will you please fly our flag next to yours and the American flag, you know, in the, in the city of Boston and the state of Massachusetts, they got all these flagpoles. And uh, they've been doing it. So this guy comes along and says, hey, I want to fly a Christian flag. And Boston says, no, you can't do that. We're just playing, flying country flags. So the Supreme Court says, hey, if you're flying flags that aren't your own flag, you got to fly whoever asks you to fly it. So you got to fly the Christian flag. So now the satanic temple has come forward and said, cool, you, we want you to fly our flag. It's, uh, it's uh, the American flag, only with black and white stripes and an emblem of a pentagram and a goat skull where the 50 stars should be. The city of Boston is swallowing hard. Uh, the the, the uh, mayor, Michelle Wu, uh, has declined to comment. Uh, the, you know, we'll see where this goes, but I have a feeling this is going to turn out just like it did down in uh, Alabama when Roy Moore was putting all his... Uh, 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 Ten Commandments uh, things all over the courthouse lawn and and uh, the, the satanic temple came in and said, us too, us too. And they just said, okay, screw it. We're not going to do it. Listening to the Tom Hartman program. Call 202-808-9925. But what it shows more than anything else is how aggressively these right-wing Christians are trying to put their, their logos and their flags in front of everything.